The Cerebral Boar. Our journey to find this weapon takes us deep into the lair of the Blind Ones, dangled here tantalizingly in front of us, just out of reach and off the beaten path. Cerebral Boar. And here's what it does to the next two Blind Ones you encounter. So let's have a look at the model. From a time where every polygon counts, it's symmetrically built around a single extruded octagon that forms the revolving bore loader. I love how every part animates when equipping, opening to reveal a menacingly large barrel protruding like sci-fi teeth. Here's how it looks on the N64. It's posed lower and more retracted into the corner, has a deeper blue self-illuminating light texture, and its original sound effects is actually better in the original. The rest is identical, with the remaster here showing off the texture work that really looked the part back in the day. The bores themselves actually emit well away from the barrel in the remaster, which is odd considering they did emit from the barrel on the N64. And here's the bore itself, such an evil little thing. Now, let's really see what it can do. And who exactly can it kill? There's a really neat touch where, despite its inability to bore into the big pearl and enemies here, it still makes them run away in fear from the threat. Other smaller enemies also run away in fear just at the sheer sight of you holding this thing. This is 1998 enemy AI, how many FPS games today even do that? A couple of the undead types also have thick skulls, but it does a good job of pestering them. Wait a minute, that guy's head didn't blow off, let's sort that right out. Ah, that's better. Hmm, I wonder how many we can get on these guys. Note, you can't do this many on the N64. It's a much slower rate to fire. Oh good, his head blew clean off too. Now then, we also had this weapon appearing in Turok Rage Wars and Turok 3. In Rage Wars, it's a completely broken super weapon on very few maps. Just look at this shambles. On my fourth attempt, I finally landed it, and guess what? It doesn't even kill your opponent, it just puts them on very low health each time. Turok 3 gives you the usual weapon back.
with two later upgrades. One allows control of the enemy before you reacquaint him with his suitably terrified friend. The other upgrade being a completely broken time bomb that, uh, does this? Turok 2's is the real deal, however. Inspired by 70s horror movie Phantasm and widely regarded as one of the greatest gun designs in gaming history, I hope you enjoyed this spotlight on the cerebral bore, a true work of video game art. Please consider supporting on Patreon. Mmm, I love it!